Hi, thanks for tuning in to My True Balance Yoga. Today's class will focus on a sequence that will help strengthen the legs, the hips, and the core. It will also help to increase your focus, concentration, and balance. So I have Kristen joining us, and Kelly, bang. And if you are modifying today, practice along with Kristen. She'll show you those modifications. If you want more challenge, follow along with Kelly. Here we go. Let's lengthen up through our spine. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Feel the feet pressing down into the earth. Spread your toes as wide as you can. And feel the four press points on those feet engaging in the ground. That's under the big toe, pinky toe, and either side of your heel. Just feel stability here. Strengthen your stature. We'll go into a nice sun breath here. So we'll take the hands right below the navel, let them touch. And as we inhale, lengthen arms up overhead. Hands touch overhead, and then exhale, float the arms back down, and the hands will connect below the navel. You do it again, sweeping the arms up. Good. Exhale it down. Three more times. Last one here. This time, keep the arms lifted overhead. Roll the shoulder blades down. Now we'll go into a little water falling mountain effect. So we'll inhale, and as we exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands down, touch the earth, feel that core activate, inhale, roll back up and lengthen arms straight overhead. Again, roll down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. Two more times. Last one here. Lengthen up and reach those arms straight overhead. Roll the shoulder blades down and either you interlace the fingers here or you're gonna take your right hand and take a hold of your left wrist. Squeeze your quads together, we'll inhale, exhale. Let's do a little side stretch to the right. Now inhale, we'll come up and we're gonna stay on that right side. So we'll exhale, we'll dip right again. Inhale up, again to the right. We'll come up, we'll pause, and now we're going to change sides. So if you need to, grab onto your right wrist, and exhale, we'll dip left. Inhale up, exhale. Last time here, to the left. All the way up, good. Release the arms. Roll the shoulder blades down. Now let's take arms straight out in front. Bring hands to heart center. We're going to a little bit of squatting here. So we'll inhale. Exhale, shift weight on the heels and do a little squat. Make sure you can still see your toes. Inhale, roll back up, feel that core working, and then exhale, back in. Inhale, exhale. We'll do two more of these. Last one, for just good measure, let's stay right here for a couple breaths. Open that heart, and sip up the core, breathe. and then roll up and release. Before we get to the main standing sequence, we're now gonna do just a little core work here to help fire up that core muscle and helping with our balance. So let's slowly lift the arms overhead, fold forward, hands on the ground, step back to a plank, and then let's come down onto the forearms, into a dolphin plank. Good, now if needed, you can always drop the knees to modify. But make sure that that lower lumbar is lifted. We don't have that saggy baggy feeling happening there, right? Super strong, back is lifting. Drop the weight from the shoulders into the forearms. Make sure you're breathing. Last breath here. And then slowly release all the way down, let go. Either hands under the head or arms alongside the body. You can totally relax. You can windshield wipe your legs if you want to. If you want any more of that at home, you can always pause the video and do two more reps to increase that core workout. We're just going to do one here though today. Good. Take the hands under the shoulders and do a little up dog here. Lift that heart up. Roll the shoulder blades down the back. Now we can stretch that psoas muscle up and that core work. 
Awesome job. Good, and then release back down. And then press yourself up the table. Bring your sits bones back onto your heels. And then drop weight onto your left hip. And swing the legs around front. Good, so we're doing a little bit of an upward facing bow here. So, feet touch the ground, knees are pointed towards the ceiling. Let's start with the hands to the back of the thighs. Lift your heart up. And then inhale and lift the feet up off the ground. So if you're modifying, keep the hands right where they're at. If you want a little extra work, lift the arms up. Good, make sure we're staying on the sits bones and on the front of them, lifting up. Heart's lifting, great job. Now, if you're modifying again, we're going into these little half boat pulses. You keep the hands on the thighs, you just do a little dip back. If you're gonna go longer, you're really gonna go far back here, okay? We'll do five of these. We'll inhale and exhale, pulse back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up, exhale back. Inhale up. Two more. Last one here. Come back up and release. Bring the soles of the feet together. Lift your heart. A little bound angle here to help release the hips and up. Bring the knees up, hands on the ground. Gently roll back onto your spine to work a little bit of bridge here. So the feet will be at least hips width apart, arms alongside your body. Shoulder blades press down into the ground. Good. Press the feet squarely into the earth. And when we're ready, we'll inhale. We'll roll up that pubic bone up and lumbar spine and thoracic. You can stay right where you're at here, or if it's comfortable, you can always walk the shoulder blades together and interlace those fingers and press the knuckles down. That'll give a nice opening up in the shoulders too and the pecs. If the knees are sensitive, the feet can be a little bit in front of those knees. Feel that core lift up a little bit higher if you can. Excellent job. And let's release. Great job, ladies. Hug the knees into the chest for a moment here. Maybe do a little sacral massage from side to side. Good. And then bring the hands to the back of your thighs. Point the heels towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. Let's sweep on up. And let's come on up to standing. Good. So we're going to start with tree pose here. Remember, if you're modifying, follow Kristen for this one. Going deeper, follow Kelly. So first, feet are at least hips width apart. Roll the shoulder weights down the back. Now let's shift weight from right foot to left foot. Back and forth, feeling the weight, distribution here, flowing from each leg. And we'll eventually let weight drop onto our left foot. Heart lifts, have a soft gaze in front of you. And we're gonna lift that right foot up off the ground. If you're modifying, keep the foot below the knee. If you're going higher, pick that foot above the knee. Just don't press the knee to that knee joint. Hands can come to heart center. Open up wide and lengthen arms overhead. Soft gaze here again, breathing gently. Right. And we'll slowly release out. Take a moment when you release, stand tall. Feel stability here. Going right into our twisted warrior here. So weight's gonna stay on our left foot and we're gonna step back with our right foot. You can keep those toes tucked under or you can have the foot flat. Depends on what feels best for you at home. Let's bring hands to heart center. Lift that heart up. We'll inhale and as we exhale, we're gonna gently twist to the left. Now either you're gonna stay tall, when you modify, you're gonna take that right elbow onto left thigh. Inhale, you're coming back to center. Then exhale, you'll twist again to the left. If you need to, if you need help with balance, look down. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist left. Back to center, two more times. Twisting. 
last time here. Come back to center. Pause. Release the arms. This is where we go into our Flying Warrior 3 sequence. Again, if you need to modify, follow along with Kristen. Lift your heart up. Inhale. Exhale the air out. And here we go. Inhale. Let's bring that right knee to the chest. And exhale if you're flying, fly back. Otherwise, bring the foot to the earth. Inhale. Leg comes back up. And then exhale again. We'll fly back. Inhale. Be up again. And exhale, either foot to the ground or fly back. Inhale, knee to the chest. Exhale again, door position. One more. Inhale. Fly back. And release. Stand tall. Shift weight, changing sides. Weight falls onto the right foot, coming to tree on this side. Your placement are either below the knee or above the knee. And hands either in heart center, T position, overhead, or even in a temple. Soft gaze. Breathing. Make sure you don't go over that edge. Protect the body. Treat it well. And slowly release out. Stand tall. Preparing for our twisted warrior sequence here. Hands to heart center. Good. Let's go ahead and step back with that left foot. Lift the heart. Again, if you're modifying, stay tall and look down towards the earth to support you. Inhale, exhale, let's twist to the right. Again, if you're tapping, tap that right thigh. Inhale back to center. Exhale again, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Back to center. Twist right. Back to center. One more time. Twist, tap. Back to center. Release the arms. Preparing for that flying warrior three sequence here. Engage the core. And then inhale, let's bring that left knee up. And exhale, the fly back. Bring the foot down. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, fly back down. And inhale up. Back down. Two more times. Inhale up. Back down. Let it fly. Last one here. Slowly bring the leg up. Fly back. And then bring that knee back up. And Stand tall. Shoulder blades roll down the back. And then you guys can step right back here. We'll open up the legs nice and wide. Work ourselves into warrior two. So if you're at home preparing, you may need a block available to you, especially on the right side of the body, as we'll go from warrior two to a side angle and then getting into a half moon. Kristen. Probably want you to have a block there a little bit closer, about six inches or about a foot from that right foot. Good. Let's go ahead and bend that right knee, open the heart, bring the arms up into warrior two here. Now be aware of that right knee, make sure it's pointing in the same direction as your toes. Press down those back press points in that left foot. Even feel the pubic bone tuck under some. So if your shoulders are tired today, you can go palms face up. We can even do a little touch down, Jesus, here. Bang. Okay. We'll flow right into our side angle. So right forearm, right thigh. If you want to go deeper, right hand on a block of the earth. Good. Awesome. Modifying if the shoulder sensitive, keep that left hand on the hip. Good work. Inhale, let's come back up. Take a moment, bring the hands and the hips, roll the shoulder blades down. We're moving into our half moon here. So, numerous ways you can modify when you work into this one. You can keep that right hand on your thigh, and also keep the left hand on the hip the whole time, especially if those hips are tight. 
If you're able to go a little deeper, place the right hand on a block or on the earth. So here we go. Lift that heart up. Let's all start actually with that left hand on the hip. Let's lift the right arm up. Begin to reach like you're reaching for something over a countertop. Engage your core and begin to slide that left foot in. Drop weight on the right foot. And when you're ready, lift that left leg off the ground. Hinge forward from the torso and hand can go on the block, the thigh, or the earth. If you're comfortable, lengthen. Left arm up towards the ceiling. Great. Prepare to come out. Engage your core and slowly come all the way back up. Right into a warrior two. Release the hands, roll shoulder blades, lengthen my thigh muscle, pivot and turn, and we're going to chain sides here. So preparing to go to warrior two on the other side. So we'll pivot and turn on our left heel, angle that right foot 35, 45 degrees, arms come up into warrior two here. Again, be aware of that left knee. Make sure it's pointing in the same direction as your toes. Cubic bones tucking under, long. Strong. Good. When it's comfortable, look over your left fingers. Just gaze there for a moment. Again, working on that concentration and focus here. Awesome. Preparing to go into our side angle, taking our left forearm on our left thigh, or again, bringing the left hand on a block of the earth, either keeping that right hand on the hip, you can lengthen the arm straight up, or frame that head. Stay long in the lats and obliques. Open the heart up. Ah, good. Last breath here. And engage that core. Let's float all the way back up. You can relax the hands just for a moment if you need to. Roll the shoulder blades down as we prepare for a half moon. Again, if you need your block, have your block ready. Or keep that left hand on your thigh. Zip up the core. Let's lift up that left arm, drop weight on that left foot, begin to slide that right foot in, drop weight on the left foot, and you'll hinge forward from those hips, bringing that left hand on the block, the earth. You want to lengthen the right arm up, go ahead. Back to warrior two. Good. Hands on hips. Lift and lengthen. Pivot and turn. And then just walk the feet together. Stand tall. Let's slowly work down onto our spine. Either you can work yourself into a shoulder stamp, like Kelly will do, or you can do a modified shoulder stamp with a block, like Kristen will do. So come on down onto the back. Yeah, let's go this way. There you go. Lay it right down. And we can start here in a little bridge, and in fact, Kristen, if you're ready, come up into the bridge, you can slide that block right underneath that lower sacrum. And when you're ready, you can kick your legs up. Kelly, when you're ready, Come back down, prepare yourself to roll right up into your shoulder stand. So again, be aware of what the body needs here, not your ego. If the body's asking for that shoulder stand, work into it. But always be aware that the neck should be relaxed and the heart open. If the body's asking for a modified version, it's wonderful because it helps to reverse that blood flow in the legs, supporting the knees, Getting that lactic acid to flush on out, and just awesome for a way to relax even after a hard day of work. Good. Last breaths here. And we're going to slowly release on out. Yeah, great. Slowly lifting up, removing the block, and coming down on the spine. Hug the knees in just for a moment. Lengthen those legs out on the earth. We'll come and do a little relaxation here. So allow for the legs to separate. Turn palms face up. Let those shoulders relax. 
your breath become shallow. Allow yourself to melt. So stay here in relaxation for three to five minutes and then move on with your day, knowing that you've become stronger and more stable in your life. Thanks for joining us. Namaste.